Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest, fastest, and best way to install the TikTok Pixel onto your Shopify store. We're gonna be talking about why you want to install the TikTok Pixel onto your store, how to actually do it, and then also how to go through and troubleshoot and make sure that the Pixel is actually firing correctly on your Shopify store, all in this video. So let's first quickly talk about why you want to install the TikTok Pixel onto your Shopify store. Now, the biggest reason why you want to install the Pixel is so that you can have a feedback loop when you are running TikTok ads. So you can see here, this specific campaign has gotten 24 sales and has a return on ad spend of three, three uh, return on ad spend of three, basically. So for every dollar we're spending, we're getting $3.11, which isn't great, but it's data that we get fed back into the campaigns that allows us to optimize and change things and figure out which ads or campaigns or ad groups are actually performing. It also feeds that data back into TikTok so that we can have better targeting options. Now, on top of feeding back purchase data to TikTok ads, it also does feed back a lot of other data. It's great because you can see a clear view of something like this on the amount of page views, view content, collected, viewed, add to cart, searched, initiated checkout, completed payment. TikTok Pixel will go through and collect all this data as well. So you could optimize towards any of these events as well. And feeding all this data back into TikTok does help improve the ad and the targeting as I mentioned. So the ultimate question is how do you go through and install the Pixel? So it all starts by starting going into Shopify. When, once you are in Shopify, you want to go into the search bar and go into the apps and just type in TikTok. From there, it's going to open up the app store. Now you may already have the sales channel TikTok in this left-hand side. If you do, it'll take you to just the, that TikTok um, shop there. We're gonna hit enter here. Now there's a lot of different TikToks here. You can see there's these all these random ones. You want to find the one that actually says TikTok. And then when you click on it, I want you to go through and uh, verify that the developer actually is TikTok. Cause there's lots of ones that will kind of try to charge you money. This is 100% free and it makes it really nice because you don't actually need to go through and code anything. Uh, it's basically just clicking a couple buttons. So we're gonna go through and add the app. Once that is added, you're gonna notice that it's going to ask for some permissions to go through and add the sales channel. So we're gonna add the sales channel. And then from here, they're, they're always changing this screen. They might, you might see something similar or something different. But if you see this, you can see we want to grow your business with TikTok because this is gonna help us do a couple different things, optimize our campaigns, create, uh, create made, uh, creative made simple. And then also this right here is what we're really looking for. This one click pixel installation makes it super easy. So we're gonna hit set up now. And then it's going to ask us to connect our account or to connect to our TikTok for business account. Now, if you don't have a TikTok for business account set up, I encourage you to go through and set that up. I have a link down below in the description that will take you through that. Um, I even have a video down below as well on how to set up your TikTok for business account. So if you don't already have that, go through and set that up real quick. Check out the links down below. Um, but we're gonna go through and hit connect because we already have one here. It's then going to pull up our um, information for TikTok. So we're gonna go through and log in right here. And then in this top left hand corner, it's going to have an ID of the account that you're gonna be connecting. Just verify that that is the correct ID by going to your TikTok ads account or your TikTok business account, um, or just looking at the one that you just created. So now we're gonna go through and hit connect here. So after we have that connected, it's going to ask us for which data sharing option we want to use. I recommend most people go with enhanced or maximum. If you're curious the difference, basically what this is, is this is the data that you're feeding back to TikTok. You can see TikTok uses first party and third party cookies to measure events. With the enhanced measurement, these are the data, um, the data being shared, the all this stuff right here. With the maximum, you can see that there are a few more inside of here. There's the data um, uh, custom APIs. If you aren't sure which one your privacy policy covers, you probably might wanna go with the enhanced. If you're gonna go with the maximum, you'll just want to manage your privacy policy and make sure that it does comply with that. You can click to learn more here to go into those details. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't wanna to pretend uh, to give you legal advice on this, but either I generally recommend going with enhanced or maximum uh, at this stage. If you aren't sure, go with enhanced. Now we're just gonna go through and hit confirm. Okay, and if you, and you may need to go through and fill out some company info. If not, it might give you all these checks. Basically this is what we're looking for is for these four green check marks and we're gonna hit finish setup. And you can see here right now, my account is under review because I created a new one for this video. Um, but what we can do now is go through and verify that the pixel is working. So in order to do that, what you want to do is type in TikTok pixel helper. Go to Google here, and then um, you're gonna want to find this one right here, the TikTok Pixel Helper. You can see I already have it installed. Go through and install that. It's this little guy right here that says TikTok Pixel Helper. If you don't see it, click this down and then go through it and you'll find it in this little puzzle thing. So we're gonna go to the website that you have installed this on. So this is shop.zoco.mar, this is shop. 
.zoco marketing, the one that we just put this on. Now you'll notice when I go through and have this on here, you'll see that there's a little two now next to the pixel helper and you can see a page view event is firing, which means that the TikTok pixel is working. You can see there's a little green check right there. Now, if you wanted to go through and check the other events, you can go in here and look at um, one of the things you can see when we are viewing an item and we look at the TikTok pixel helper, you can see now view content has been done. If you go through and add this to cart, you can see if we go through and view the cart or if we can see here that add to cart has event has fired inside of uh, the pixel and then we can click checkout and you kind of get the idea. You can go through this entire process and even do a purchase if you'd like to test everything out. But this is basically how the TikTok pixel helper works. So now you have your TikTok pixel all set up. You are sending data back into your TikTok ads account. It is now start to, time to start running those TikTok ads. If you are wanting to learn how to set up your very first campaign, I recommend checking out this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on TikTok ads. And we'll see you in the next one.